is Hamza and I live in Queensland on the Gold Coast. I live uh, in an extended family. It's a pretty busy household. There's several people in our household who have significant vulnerabilities. I think it was really important that we looked at the vaccine. I've had the COVID vaccine and so have several others in my family. So mum and dad have had their vaccinations. Uh, dad's had his first one. I've had my first one. I've had the um, AstraZeneca one. And uh, my wife and mum and my youngest brother became eligible uh, to have the vaccine and they've all received the Pfizer one. So we're well on the way as a family. Mum's a nurse by background and she's also a chaplain. Um, so she works across faith communities, but is a female Muslim chaplain um, who works at the Gold Coast Mosque, um, but then is also connected to a range of settings um, in the Gold Coast area, uh, providing predominantly gender sensitive spiritual care and chaplaincy support. She really wanted to take the vaccination because of her work here in Australia and to build confidence in our communities, as multicultural communities, I guess, around some of the hesitancy around the vaccine on one level. There's a range of people who are really quite worried and spooked and scared by it and just feel we've got, we've got to wait. We know that normal vaccinations in the past have taken many, many years. And I think the scale and speed in which this has been developed has been marvellous on one level, but I think has people on edge. We were conscious of the potential risk and we're worried about some of the concerns around how quickly the vaccine's been developed but as we've researched and become aware of uh, its development what we've realized is that's happened in a really compressed time frame because there's just been a lot of resource that's been put into it which has meant that it's been able to be developed as quickly as it has um, and that gave us some reassurance to be able to understand some of the science and thinking behind that if you're confused or don't know how to book we all trust and know our doctors, our GPs. And I'd really encourage people to get in touch with your GP because your GP will know whether you're eligible or not. The sooner we do it, um, and the sooner we pull together, uh, I think the better it will be in terms of things opening up and getting back to some sense of normality. We all are in this together. We need to get out of this and community has got to be central to that solution. Mm -hmm.